allow the iridescent rainbow mist to activate the intent of a joyful life in Lemuria. One that we're moving back into with ease and grace. And allow a beautiful pink light of energy to move down your etheric spine. We're using the energy, the mineral content of rhodochrosite, which is the the pink beads I'm wearing, if you don't know what that is. This is the higher octave of the rose quartz, and it is the higher octave of the love that we are moving into, the love of the da'at, the love of the higher heart, the blossoming of this great love as we gently and easily walk across the bridge to who we really are. Just feel this pouring through the spine, giving it new flexibility, activating the nerve endings in perfection, the muscles holding it. And feel this great love going out into your body. Take a moment and breathe in harmony and trust into the waterways of the body, the blood of the body, the liquids of the body, all the fluids. Harmony and trust. The trust aiding in stepping into this new process, knowing that all is really in divine order. that this is your truth. So feel this consciousness, this intent of harmony and trust into the bloodstream and all the liquids, all the liquids of the body, into the bile of the body. And breathe deeply. And know this is who you really are. For some, this may be the new you. For others, it is who you've been working with for the last few years. Your intent is perfect love, joy, peace, harmony, balance, compassion, and trust. Rest of the process. I am filled with divine love. Every organ in my body holds divine love. Every cell, the sheath of every cell, the membrane of every cell, divine love. I am divine love. Say it with me. I am divine love. I am divine love. I am divine love. And so it is. Greetings, dear ones, I am. Cry on a magnetic service. And these are the times we told you would take place.
And these are the times that some of you planned on being here. In this place right now, there are five of you who terminated lives early the last time you were on this planet so that you could come back, grow up, and be the age that you are at the 12, and we mean the 2012, so that you could participate in the vibrational increase of the planet, so that you could participate in something so grand as this. Does the grandness escape you? You don't see it as we see it. But that's what you knew. And what some have called the oversoul, that is, the higher self, the one that knows it all, led the way in the decision that you might terminate a life in whatever way appropriate in order to come back and be part of something grand. How many of you are aware of the, of the partnership with Gaia? Gaia is a support entity group to humanity. Now let me give you something you didn't think about. Perhaps you didn't even truly consider we would speak about just for a moment before we speak about the other things for I want you to get a different perspective today on how spirit works on how you work on how the higher self works on what you would think would be the chaos which is not let me give you an event where Gaia cooperated with 230,000 human beings so that they could terminate early, come back, and be part of something grand. It was called the tsunami. And none of you thought of that. All you saw was the sorrow. All you saw was the heartbreak. All you saw were the crying mothers. And you didn't understand the grandness of those kinds of agreements. And some of you sit here because you did the same thing. And so we give you a different perspective on things. Today's teaching is not all that new. But we put it in a framework so it is translated in a way that perhaps you have not heard before. And it starts with a metaphor. Let us say that you are in a magical place, a timeless place where energy is all you see. There's music playing there all the time. I've just described in a linear fashion what it's like on the other side of the veil. You can't imagine it. The purposes are different. The physics are different. The dimensionality is different. You have, you have different goals, if you want to call them that. You have a different reason for being, if you want to call it that. And let us say you are there. And let us say it is beautiful. It is beautiful because there is coordination of of singular purpose. That is the beauty of the other side of the veil. They ask, is there learning on the other side of the veil? Does God learn? <laughs> That's all you do. If God is, is all powerful, if spirit knows everything, why would you need to learn? And this perhaps will give you insight into the different perspective of God for you not what you think there's learning all the time 
all the time. It enhances the universe. And sometimes the learning must be out of the purview of interdimensionality. Many times the learning must be part of a setup, a test. You get the offer. You're over there and you get the offer. And it comes with a beautiful song and energy. And it reads like this. Dear angelic being, how would you like to participate in one of the grandest times of the universe? Where what you would do for just a little while would change trillions of life forms in the future, would add greatly to the knowledge of the universe. And you are being offered this because you have the equipment for it. And not all do. Not all angelic forms are the same. Hard to describe to you. Cry, do they have jobs on the other side of the veil? Not like in 3D, no. But there is purpose and there is grouping. And there is organization and there's cooperation and there is love. For the universe is about learning. And you say, yes, thank you for this offer. And the universe resounds with thanks for what you're going to do. And then you start learning what it might be that you have volunteered for and you recognize it because you've done it before. Ah, yes. I see it. Oh, this is going to be a grand time, you say. And the next thing that happens is you find yourself in the birth canal in the arms of a nurse. <laughs> Welcome to Earth. The first of many times. This is not an experiment. It is a test of energy based upon angelic beings who volunteer because they have the divine equipment to come into this planet called Earth to live many lifetimes over a certain amount of time that they will create. Something will be decided. And in this process, the universe watches. In this process, the universe learns. And without it, they wouldn't have it. Isn't this odd? Does this defy logic for you? That God needs you to do this so that there would be learning. Does this make sense to you? It doesn't. And you're not going to find that scenario in mainstream religion. You're going to find the love of God there. You're going to find those who go through goals and rules to touch the face of God. Never understanding the true under, undercurrent, under, under energy, the, what, what's under the, the entire scheme, what lays as truth. But I'm giving it to you. Many of you know this. We have talked of this. But now we're going to put it into a perspective you haven't really heard before. Oh, maybe you know these things. We're going to give you a, a secret. <laughs> it's going to be just too simple. Oh, but you're going to recognize it. Let's talk about life for a moment, light worker. The history of spirituality, the history of what you would call the new age. Let's go back 30 years. What were you learning? 
You are learning how to avoid your karma, how to change your colors. You are learning how to take responsibility for your life, how to co-create your own reality. Do you recognize these terms? Perhaps they were new at the time, they're not now. All creeping forward to a time that we told you about, a great shift upon you. And here you are sitting in it. And some of you designed, designed your lives so you'd be here. And the only thing missing <laughs> is the communication of the bridge. And you knew that would happen when you arrived because the cord of communication is completely severed and is only then retained with your intent to put it back. That's the free choice of the human being. That's the gallery where the entities are watching your lives. What will they do when they don't know everything? What is the energy that will develop when they don't know everything. How will they handle this? How will they handle that? Blessed is the human being who was on this planet handling these things. But thinking for some reason they're in a, a cauldron of difficulty. And they ask the questions. They yell out to God. As light workers, they yell out to God. What direction am I supposed to take? I can't see it. I've tried this and I've tried that. It just, I don't know what direction. And why can't I know what's going on? I'll answer both questions. And I'm going to give you a phrase. I may even ask you to repeat this phrase out loud in the room. So you get it. I'll tell you what direction. Forward. <laughs> That's all you have to know. Why should it be? Could it be that simple? Who told you? Who told you that in this life called human being, when you have the goal to just be here and let the energy develop. Who told you that you were going to then be given every moment what was happening, why it was taking place, and what direction to move? Oh, how 3D of you. <laughs> you mean crying? There is no direction and there's no goals and we... No, I didn't say that. No. See, that's what's available across the bridge. You want, to know about, you want to know about the potentials of Earth? You want to know about the potentials of your life, about humanity in general? If you want to know, you're going to have to disconnect from everything 3D. And you're not going to get the answers you want. There has been a phrase for a long time called let go and let God. And that is not what we speak of. For that is not what we, what we are advocating. That is a phrase which says you don't take responsibility. You disconnect and float. That's not what the new energy is about. Instead, we're going to give you a phrase. And the phrase is just be. I want you to say it with me. Just, just be. Now let me tell you what this means. The human being who will just be allows an engagement of an energy that is the bridge. And that energy, when they disengage from their 3D worries and thoughts and expectations, is the wisest energy you will ever see. By itself, it connects the bridge, the higher self, and that is when intuitively you start to get the answers that will never be developed in 3D. New direction? No, no. You don't need a new direction. 
that's when you start to understand I'm here because I'm here. I move forward and the energy meets me and I make decisions and I don't have to worry about it. I'm going to give you another metaphor in a moment. Just be. Could it be that simple? Oh, it's not simple. The human brain is designed to work in three dimensions. And it takes a lot for you to disengage those things which are so meaningful to you that you think are spiritual and they're not. Let's talk about goals for a moment. <laughs> Let's talk about purpose for a moment. Let's talk about planning. It's got to be a plan, you say. Oh, there is. There's a plan that you arrive with a life lesson and you live it. Period. That's the plan. <laughs> oh, but you want a bigger one. I'm supposed to do this. God has shown me I'm supposed to do that. I know there's this happening. I know there's that happening. I should. I should. I should. Let me give you a metaphor. Many of you, this is not going to sit well with. <laughs> Let us say that your goal is to swim the English Channel. It's been done, you know. And that is the goal, and you begin to swim it. And there are millions watching you, for they want to see you swim it. They want to know if you can do it, how long it's going to take. Will you make it? Will you not make it? That's everything, and they're watching, and they're learning, and they're taking notes. Now, in the middle of the swim of the English Channel, let me ask you, how would you feel if that hero who is doing the swim stopped and looked around and said, you know, there's got to be something else I'm doing. Maybe I should collect some fish along the way. Are you getting this? The plan. The plan is just to be here. It's just be. Can you say that with me? Just be. So many rules. New Age rules on how to do this and how to do that such frustrations so many puzzles what do I do with others in my life you know it'd be great if there was nobody else but me <laughs> I would really be able to sing for God you know but oh no I got this personality and that personality and Oh, all of these energies around them and it's so complicated it's... and your whole life is lived about what to do about it how many books have you read about what to do about it how many counseling sessions have you been in and what to do about it what they've done to you what you've done to them what has taken place what has not taken place and you want to know what do I do what is it? Just be. Could it be that simple? It isn't simple. For the disconnection of all the things that you can figure out allows an enormous energy to arrive in your DNA of understanding, of peacefulness, about the plan before you. One that you are not aware of, but you think you are you see and that's what you have to disconnect stop thinking <laughs> and be being conscious choice to disconnect and be allows the higher self to connect with the chaos crosses the bridge the chaos is no longer chaos it makes sense it gives you a peaceful countenance 
And when somebody says to you, why are you smiling? And you can say, because I know. And they say, well, what is it you know? Tell me, I'd like to know too. <laughs> it's not in 3D. What can you tell them? What do you know? I'll tell you what you know. You know that you are eternal. You know you're only here for a little while. You know that as long as this connection stays fit, no matter what energy comes along, you're fine. All of it begins to make sense to you. You become balanced when you stop figuring it out. Do you hear me? You become balanced when you stop figuring it out. Oh, but the others are still there. <laughs> Let me ask you this. Is it others that bother you or is it your reaction to the others that bothers you? Have you thought about that? What if you were able to look at the others and have complete and total solace and peace about whatever they did and it wouldn't bother you? <laughs> and when you looked at even your nemesis and even those that betray you and even your enemies, you'd be able to look at them in love and say, God bless them, for they're going through the same thing I am. We're swimming the channel together, and that's what we're doing. And when we get to the other side, we will have completed the goal. And then we're going to come back and we're going to do it again. Because it helps the universe, because trillions are looking, because there's learning that must be accomplished. I'll tell you, there is a day. There is a day when this planet will no longer exist. It's a day of your choosing, and when it occurs, there's going to be such a party. And everyone will be there. We did it again, you'll say. Enriched the universe greatly. You'll know it. And God is bigger because of it. Hard to describe. But that's the way of it hard to describe co-creation think you got it figured out don't you <laughs> how many books have you read on co-creation got the rules down do you must be frustrating when it doesn't happen must be like hitting a brick wall to the human being when you try your best to co-create something and doesn't always work, does it? Oh, sometimes it does. Well, what's the difference? So I'll tell you. You think you know what you're trying to co-create. It's a setup for disappointment. For that is you in 3D deciding in advance, apart from your higher self, what's supposed to happen. And you do all of the things you were told. You might even say, let go and let God. And it doesn't happen. And you don't know why. And I'll tell you why, because the plan is so much lower and weaker than the real one. The one that's going to enhance the universe. The one that's going to enhance you eventually. The one that's going to create a win-win situation eventually. And you don't know about it because it's hidden in the chaos. You don't know the potentials of who you might meet. Or what might happen, do you? And if you don't know those, how can you co-create something you don't know? Do you understand? And instead, why don't you co-create perfectness? And just be. How do we do that, cry out? For each it is individual. Not all are ready. It is an advanced state. It is the next state. It is the one that is going to co-create peace on earth that is the potential. Seer, go to the other side. 
of the veil with me. Come and take a look at the potentials and the energy that is there, not the drama. I want you to see the compassion. This is what sticks up the highest to the wise one. This is the, the hands raised above the fog of chaos. And the biggest one is peace on earth. Of a great change in consciousness. In human beings that will no longer accept war as a solution to anything. Can a world exist like that? I'll tell you. It is in the works, if you allow it. But if you got to figure it out, dear human being, with what you know and what is 3D, it will never occur. And so we talk to all of those who will just be. Will you say it with me one more time? Just be. Are you ready to engage such a power in you? that has such knowledge here is the promise when you can do this against all logic things will begin to line up and make sense to you even though you don't know about them <laughs> there's a piece of divinity which will flow into you that is the bridge and even though you will not have three dimensional sight beyond the three You'll have interdimensional compassion and love. It will tell you all as well. Invisible things that will set a stage that is concrete for you. Concrete for you. Proof. Here is what I am saying in better terminology. That although the proof will not be in 3D, it will seem like it is. And that is the gift we give to you. Peace over the unknown. Do you have the patience for it? Can you move forward without understanding direction, goal, rules? Can you? Can you throw away your plans? And let them come to you in a perfect way when the time is right instead of the time you decided it was to be. Can you do that? It is the next step. Advanced information it is. This message needs to be given one more time, my partner, so you can do it better. And we'll give you that opportunity in the months to come. And that is the message of cry on this day. The universe watches. The universe learns. And you are the star, the hero, the one with the equipment to allow it to happen. And there'll come a day. There'll come a day when we'll all get together yet again and celebrate this time. I promise you, You'll see. You'll see. And so it is.